Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, even as we already prayed, network was acting up. So we'll continue just as the Spirit leads us. I want us to dive into a short term of worship before we hit the sermon running. Wherever you at, if conditions permit, I want you to enter into a time of worship in utter submission to our Lord. Let's worship the Lord from the bottom of our heart. Let's worship the Lord like never before. He is the creator. He is the alpha and the omega. He's all powerful and ever living God. Let's worship God from the bottom of our heart. Father, we exalt your name. We magnify your name, O Lord. Say, indeed you are God, indeed you are, indeed you are worthy of our praise. Father, may your name be praised and be exalted, O Lord. King of kings, Lord of lords, God the only wise. You alone deserve our praise, you alone deserve our honor, you alone deserve our exaltation, O Lord. Lord, O Lord, my God, kanda handere de bre yambu kanda yabe. Receive your praise, O Lord, receive your honor, O God. Receive your praise, O Lord, receive your honor, O Lord. O Father, there's not like thee. There's none that can ever be compared unto thee, O Lord. You alone are God. You alone are God. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Papa, whoever living God. Worthy is your name. Indeed, you are God. Indeed, you are worthy of our praise. Receive your praise, receive your exaltation, O Lord. Receive your honor, O Lord. There's none like thee. There's none that can ever be compared unto thee. There's none like thee. There's none that can ever be compared unto thee. Father, you are Lord. Father, you are God. Father, you are good. You are worthy of our praise. And let me praise and be exalted, O Lord, for all you do and all you continue to do. And let me praise and be exalted, O Lord, for all you do and all you continue to do. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Kanda hande yaba bre yanda bo. Bre manda kabis. Bendere baba. Bre manda raba kabo sundu hande rebe. Indere be kanda yababa. See your praise, see your praise, see your praise, O Lord. See your praise, see your praise, see your praise, O Lord. See your praise, see your praise, see your praise, O Lord. Father, may your name be worshipped, may your name be exalted. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you are God. Father, you are God. Father, you are good. You are bigger than what people think, O Lord. You are bigger than what people think, O Lord. You are worthy of our praise, King of Kings. You are worthy of our praise, Lord of Lords. All power forever living God. Indeed, you are God. Indeed, you are good. Indeed, you are good. Manda hande re bebre yanda ba kanda ya bo sunduru baba. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bre yanda ba kanda ya be. Bre manda kabo sundu hande re be. Bre yanda kabasa hande re mama. In the Rebbe Kanda Ya Baba Handuru Ba Kanda Ya Bezi. In the Rebbe Kanda Ya Baba. See your praise, O Lord. See your exaltation, O Lord. See your honor, O Lord. In the Yanda Ba Kanda Ya Be. Pray your Yanda Ya Baba. Yanda Ba Kabo Sunduru Mama. Pray Yanda Ya Baba Kabe. In the Rebbe. Pray Yanda Kabe. Rundo Handi Rebbe Baba Kanda Ya Baba Handi Rebbe. Rundo Rubu Kanda Ya Baba. Pray Yanda Kabo Sa. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For indeed you are God. Indeed you are God. Indeed you are good. You are bigger than what people think of Lord. You are bigger than what our minds can imagine. You are great. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kanda handuru bebre yamba kanda yabu. Sundu handere bebre manda kaba. Yendebe kabo sundu handere be. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come behind the river, pray and the book and the Abba. Pray, man, the back and the Abba. Pray, man, the Abba, man, the Abba. Pray, man, the Abba, man, the Abba. Pray, man, the Abba, man, the Abba. Pray, man, the Abba. For indeed you are God. 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 Father, you are great. Father, you are great. 
Oh, Father, you are great. Oh, Father, you are great. Oh, Father, you are great. Manda handiri bi pri manda kabo sundu handiri nama. Rendiri bi yanda ba kabo sundu handiri nama. Pri manda ya ba kabi sendiri bi pri yanda ba. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we be silent before the Lord? In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Amen. I see a lot of muted mics. There's a lot of muted mics. Amen. If your background is noisy, if your background is noisy, by all means mute yourself. But if your background is not noisy, you can unmute and respond to amen. 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 Beloved. Yeah, before we start the sermon, um, if there be word of knowledge whilst we're worshiping, whilst we're praying, or anything from a dream or vision you want to share, we can do so now, then we'll start the sermon. Amen. 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 Right. If they be not like that, we will dive in the scripture. Sing with me. Sing with me. I, I really love this song that I want us to sing before we start. We give glory to the Lord. He will We give glory to the Lord. He 
today for us to dive into what I'll term ruling by prayer. Ruling. Ruling by prayer. How awesome for you to realize that we can actually rule by That's prayer. How uh -huh. useful is, is it? Please okay. mute your mics. Let, let me mute you all real quick. I was going to give a testimony. Hello. After the sermon, I'll give another opportunity for uh, testimony. So, do you want to hold it? Yes. All right. Rule and by prayer. Rule. How informative for you to realize that. Beloved, turn with me to Acts chapter 12, verses 5. Acts chapter 12, verses 5. It's the word of God says, So indeed, Peter was kept in prison, but fervent prayer by was made to God by the church concerning him. Acts 12, verses 5 says, Indeed, Peter was kept in the prison, but fervent prayer was being made to God by the church concerning Peter. Fervent prayer was being made on Peter's behalf. Then again, we, we can read James, James chapter 5, verses 16b to 17. James chapter 5, verses 16b to 17. The word of God says, The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. 17. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Beloved, how effective and informative, useful, and very vital for you to realize that we can actually rule by prayer. We can actually rule by prayer. What I mean by ruling by prayer is that, just as I read, the king at the time, Herod, imprisoned Peter. And this is just about the time where Herod has um, killed, uh, Herod actually killed James and he pleased the Jews. So he went on to capture Peter, intended to kill him just so he gets more praise from the Jews. Mind you, the Jews never wanted that Jesus Christ agenda anyway. So the lesser such people, the better. So Herod knowing that killing James pleased the Jews, he went on to capture Peter, put Peter in, in prison, intending to kill him the next day. But guess what? Herod is the king. Herod is the ruler. Herod physically makes the final decision of the land. But the church, the church were praying concerning Peter. The church did not sit down and be like, okay, Herod is the king. Herod has captured Peter. So we cannot do anything at this time is out of our hands. 
that is the average Christian's mentality. We get to situations and we're like, the, the way it's going is going beyond us. We cannot fight Herod. We cannot fight our president. We cannot fight our ruler. We cannot fight our super suppressing you. So in your head, you're like, at this point, I think I've given up. Beloved, Herod was the ruler, king of the land. Herod made the final decisions. Herod had killed James, and he's gotten a lot of praise for that. So Herod captured Peter, intended to kill Peter. But guess what? The church was praying on behalf of Peter. The church was interceding on behalf of Peter. The church was trying to reverse Herod's decision through prayer. Amazingly, God moved in a marvelous way. Peter was in a maximum security cell. Peter was all surrounded with guards. There was no place that Peter can un unravel himself from the tangles and get caught free. But the fervent prayer of believers, the fervent prayer was being made to God by the church concerning Peter. And God moved in a marvelous way to not only untangle Peter from the chains, he led Peter from the cell. A man kneeled down with maximum security. Only because of prayer, he was let free. Peter was escorted by the angel till he got to a place free of being chased down. Beloved, we can rule with prayer. We can rule with prayer. James 5, 16b to 17. James 5, 16b to 17. It says, The effectual fervent prayer of a religious man availed much. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Beloved, emphasis on Elijah was human being just as we are. Elijah was born of um, a woman. Elijah lived the sinful earth. Elijah had flaws. Elijah had weaknesses. Elijah also struggled with sin before he was actually led by God. Elijah did everything we've done in the past. Elijah went back and forth growing up until he was actually submissive to God's will. Elijah has done, did everything we've done in the past. But because he's found, he found his place and submitted to the will of God, because he was in the right standards with God, this same Elijah, which is as human as we are, prayed earnestly, prayed seriously, prayed sincerely, prayed with diligence that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Imagine praying that it's not going to rain on your land. And God says, because you said it, I'll do it. Imagine turning the hand of time. Imagine defiling season. Imagine praying that it's not, it's not supposed to snow and it doesn't snow. Even though the skies showed obvious signs that it was going to snow. Beloved, we can rule with prayer. We can rule with prayer. Elijah's time, there was another oppressor. There was another oppressor. There was King Ahab on Elijah's time. An ungodly man and whose wife got him into war. An ungodly man who always choose idol worship over godliness. King Ahab's time by Elijah. As human as we are, Elijah taught us wise. Elijah said, can Ahab can get the throne? Can Ahab can mount the throne? Can Ahab can rule the land? Can Ahab can make all the decisions he wants? Can Ahab can instruct everyone to wash? But there is someone that has final say. You have the throne. You can call the shots. But I know God. And through God, I'm going to stop the rain. 
who is ruling now? Is it King Ahab or Elijah? Is it the one calling the shots on the ground or the one calling the sh shots from the sky? Elijah was ruling by prayer. Beloved, we can rule by prayer. We can rule by prayer. I wanted to nail down this scenario. So, my first job, my first job, my, uh, my employer, my first employer in the US was a glass manufacturer. Like any factory job, I had a supervisor who oversaw the yard and a real boss. And there was a, actually a real boss down upstairs. So my supervisor calls the shots on the ground, on the yard. As manufacturers, there's a supervisor who oversaw the yard. But we know there's a, a boss upstairs. There's a boss, there's a director upstairs. He has the final say. Beloved, as I was employed in this glass factory, I had hills. My colleagues always held me as hardworking. I was praised by all, but for some reason, somehow my supervisor never smiled at me. My supervisor never praised me. He pretended to be nice when the boss or others were around. But between he and I, we knew there was an obvious hatred. I tried my best all the time to overlook how he oppressed me and do as much as I can. There are times that he will propose whether or not I can do overtime, but even though I did not plan for it, I'll do it anyway. When he wants to get something off me, when he wants me to do extra job, he tries to be nice. He tries to be all smiley. But besides that, he never, he never even went. I kept going, but amazingly, God works in a special way. Even though my supervisor on the ground, even though my supervisor at the factory never liked me, never wanted the best for me, in God's infinite wisdom, our boss, actor, was friends with me. I'm going to put it that way because he can actually come stand next to my computer. He can come stand next to my machine whilst others were busy working and we will be talking about soccer. He was that cool with me. So much so that he sanctioned it for me to go even as a temp worker. My boss sanctioned a three-week leave for me to go even as a temp worker. That is the kind of relationship I'm talking about. My supervisor never liked me. My supervisor never wanted the best for me. But my boss was always rooting for me. My boss was always okay in my, my suggestions. My boss was one of the best for me all the time. If you are a Christian, if you are in the right standings with God, if you are not a superficial Christian, if you are one that is dedicated, that is wholeheartedly submissive to the will of God. Beloved, you can rule with prayer. It doesn't matter your supervisor is. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who your president is. It doesn't matter who rules your vicinity. It doesn't matter your governor. It doesn't matter your king. It doesn't matter your queen. It doesn't matter who is calling the shots on your land. Beloved, as a Christian, as a dedicated one, you can rule with prayer. You can rule with prayer. L let me tell you this gospel truth. See, Satan, Satan, as we know, was the ruler, and I say he was. Satan was the ruler of this world. At the time, he went out to tempt Jesus um, if you read Matthew 4, Matthew 4, verse 1 going, but specifically 9. Matthew 4, verses 9. Just about finished fasting for 40 days. Satan went after him to tempt him. And at the time, Satan 
was the ruler of this world. So Satan told Jesus Christ that he has power over everything. If Jesus Christ bows, he will give Jesus Christ everything. Fast forward, Matthew 28, 18. Matthew 28, 18. After Jesus Christ has died, resurrected, and just as he was ascending to heaven, what did Jesus Christ say? He has power and authority in heaven and on earth. He has power and authority in heaven and on earth. So if you become a Christian, if you become a true believer, and indeed you reign with Jesus Christ, that's what he said. If you are a true believer, you reign in with Jesus Christ. So even though the prince of this world, even though Satan must seem to influence in the world, because Satan is, is the ruler of the world, people in the world, not Christians, people in the world, people that do not share our faith are still being ruled by Satan. But uh, if you become a Christian, you are reigning with Jesus Christ. If you become a Christian, you are not conformable. It doesn't matter what Satan is instigating your rulers to do. It doesn't matter what Satan is instigating your land your country, the society around you to do. It doesn't matter what they will okay. It doesn't matter what they will implement. Beloved, you can rule with prayer. Whatever situation there be, you can rule with prayer. It might be, you can rule with prayer. If you have access to this boss, if you have access to this boss, Jesus Christ, someone that has authority in heaven and on earth, if you have access to this boss, and mind you, this boss actually calls us brethren. He calls us his siblings. So we are reigning with him. If you have access to this boss, ignore what the prince of this world is doing. If you have access to Jesus Christ, Ignore what your president is doing. If you have access to Jesus Christ, ignore what your oppressors from work, what your oppressors from church, what your oppressors from any organization there be are doing against you because you are ruling with prayer. You are ruling with prayer. As Christians, we know there's going to be countless oppression. There's going to be countless oppositions. There's going to be countless deliberate, calculated efforts to shake your faith, to counter your decisions, to make life uncomfortable for you at work, in your society, in any organization you dwell. But, beloveds, we are ruling with prayer. Whichever decision you set in meetings that you do not second to, Whichever decision that be playing at work that you do not second to, whichever decision that your land, your country is playing, which does not conform to your faith, beloved, seek God's verdict through prayer. Go on your knees, pray to God. God, what have you to say about this? What have you to say about this? And God has a marvelous way to squash that devilish decision or empower you to endure to glorify himself. Beloved, we are ruling with prayer. We are ruling with prayer. It doesn't matter the afflictions. It doesn't matter the temptations. It doesn't matter the trials. It doesn't matter the test we face daily because of our faith. If we trust in God, if we realize that we have access to someone that is bigger than the rulers on earth. We are ruling with prayer. The fervent prayer of a righteous person availed much. And if Elijah was indeed as human as we are, and he can pray that rain does not fall, we can change situations around us too. 
We can change situations in our homes. We can change situations in our marriages. We can change situations in our workplaces. We can change situation on this world because we are ruling with prayer. If the church can so much so that Peter that was captured in maximum security by Herod, the, the, um, the king, the church can pray on behalf of Peter, so much so that God will send an angel to unleash Peter from chains and set him scot free. You can change every situation around you. You can change every situation around you. The uncertainty at work, the uncertainty in your marriages, the threat of a broken home, the uncertainty in your church, the uncertainty in any organization in which you dwell. Don't be scared. Don't be frightened. Don't forsake your God. See God's face. See God's verdict. Seek the final ruler's decision. And let's together rule with prayer. I pray and believe this message is shaping visions. I pray and believe this message is reforming our minds. I pray and believe this message is hitting the reset button in minds and hearts. That in every situation we might face, in every uncertainty we might face, in every decision that tend to suppress our faith and what we stand for, we will always remember that we have access to the overall boss so we can rule with prayer. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God open up your heart so you can apply this truth to your life. Affect others from here to eternity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 At, at this time, I'll reopen the floor for visions, dreams we want to share, testimony. Any concerns you want us to talk about? The floor is open. If I go miss Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to share a, um, a brief testimony. And I give glory. Please, please louder. And I give glory to the living God because God is the only righteous God. Any other God is not righteous. So my testimony is yes. that a um, couple months ago when we started the ministry, when I, when I joined the ministry, we had, mm -hmm. um, we had different leaders who were um, leading church services. And, you know, it was mostly like... Um, leading intensive prayers and stuff. And I grew so much love for them, but it got to a point that some of them were leaving. They had several reasons. And to my knowledge, I appreciated them because I felt like they were helping me grow spiritually. And so as they were leaving, as they were not punctual, I started growing hatred for anybody who was replacing them. I just couldn't understand why it had to happen that way. My, before, before I started the ministry, before I became a part of the ministry, I was the kind that was very rigid. I did not understand anything that was like... Um, sudden changes I did not like. I always liked it as it was. I wasn't flexible. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. So, um, it got to a point that one of our elders oh. was not joining anymore. He, he was just not coming. And I'll be looking for him on Facebook and all that. <laughs> I was like, Lord, bring him back. That's what, the whole time. 
then um, Pastor Jude was now helping out, but I still didn't like him in my head. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay. So I just did not like Pastor. I was like, why should Pastor Jude be placed? That's what I was thinking in my head. Oh, the whole time. And I wanted to share this testimony for, for the longest time. I was always not getting the um, chance to. Oh, I wasn't allowed to. But I think today is the right time to share it. And I just want everybody to know that what God does is not, God is not human, first of all. So the thing that he does, we have to understand him. But then I give glory to God because I don't know where that dislike went. I'm just accepting everything that the Lord is doing now. I appreciate what the Lord is doing now. And as we're talking about prayers, we talk about um, change of mind, change of heart. You can, you can receive the Holy Spirit baptism. You can have a relationship with God. But we have to be mindful of every kind of thought and every kind of relationship. We have to allow God to do his will. We have to accept what God is doing. That is the only way we see his glory. So I just want to give glory to God that I don't know how it happened, but the Lord has healed me. The Lord has made me understand that this is a ministry he's taking us forward. We are never to look back. What the Lord is doing, we will leave him to do. He's the our boss. Amen. Amen. Testimonies, word of exhortation, questions, concerns. Oh, yeah, I, I'll go then. Uh, so someone just unmuted themselves. Um, I thank God for my life. I thank God for uh, actually leading me to meet one of our members from here, Mama Eunice. Actually went to visit Mama Eunice last night. Uh, all the teenagers that come on the teenage ministry, teenage services, small. I met her husband and indeed, it, it, it's joyful to see people that you've been talking to from walls apart. It's joyful to see that they are actually human. It's not like you just appear on my computer and that's it. I was so happy and blessed having to have seen people that I've been talking to and I'm so happy and blessed for the lives of everyone on here. You have no idea how you affect me personally and how you affect the individuals we come in contact with, the people that we pray for, the people that we pray with the people that we tend to learn together. I'm really grateful and thankful to God for meeting everyone. Amen. Amen. Testimony. Amen. Amen. We thank God for how far he's brought us. We thank God for how far he brought us. We believe that just as the word of God says, we can actually rule. Hallelujah. Pastor Ju, I had a testimony. Sorry, um, let it go. Um, when I was, I had to throw up and then I said, Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against me in judgment shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. His righteousness is from me, says the Lord. And I kept on saying that and I eventually threw up. Amen. 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 <laughs> We praise the Lord for that. We thank God. That that is that is actually a practical way to test to test the ability that you have 
That is a practical way to use the weapons that we've been sharpening. We've been sharpening every day. We've been sharpening weapons every day. We've been sharpening the more, the more we listen to scripture. We sharpen our weapon. It's come for us to utilize the weapon. We hold back. When opportunities come for actually test the weapon, we hold back. Our sister just tested the weapon, and indeed, the weapon works. The weapon works. She used scripture verse to counter discomfort, and the discomfort and pain flew away. God bless you for sharing. God bless you. I think um, that is the final one. Amen. 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 Yeah. Shall we shall we shall we pray? Shall we pray and then we close? I'm praying. Father, we thank you for our lives. We thank you for the lives of our family. Thank you for all the protection and love you've shown us. Indeed, you are God. Indeed, you are worthy. Indeed, you are worthy. We thank you for the knowledge of truth. We thank you for constantly reminding us, O Lord, my God, that we are indeed a bona fide inheritance of your word and of your properties, O Lord. Father, the many good things that you show us teach our hearts to utilize the weapons that you've given us. Teach our heart and mind to utilize the weapons that you've given us. Father, let us glorify you in every aspect of our life. Let us glorify you in our thought, in our words, and in our deeds. Let us glorify you in all endeavors, O oh Lord, that we will sing you praise, honor, and exaltation, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We worship you, we adore you, we exalt your name, O oh Lord. Take absolute control of whatever this day, the rest of the day has entailed for us. And Father, see your goodness in every step of the way. I will give you glory. We give you honor. We exalt thy name. Even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your name be praise the Lord. Your name be exalted the Lord. Continually let us step fast in love. Continually let us abide with each other in love. Continually let us abide with each other in godly love, O Lord that your glory will be seen through us, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Shall we share the grace together? Shall we share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of, the love of God, God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. Tanaka, God bless you. Saint Mary, God bless you. Saint Gertrude, God bless you. Saint Levet, God bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Amponson, God bless you. Samson, God bless you. Top three, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you. J2, God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you, Sam. Hey. Bye. Amen. My name is Debbie. Debbie, you can ask somebody about that. Yes, Samson, person.
Oh, no. Oh, no.